The history of Salem witch trials is a dark chapter in American history that took place in 1692 and 1693 in the small Puritan town of Salem, Massachusetts. The trials were a result of a series of accusations of witchcraft made by a group of young girls. These accusations led to the arrest, trial, and execution of 20 people, 14 of whom were women and the imprisonment of over 150 more. The first accusations were made in January 1692, when a group of girls in Salem Village, led by 9-year-old Elizabeth, Betty, Paris and 11-year-old Abigail Williams, claimed to be possessed by the devil and accused several local women of witchcraft. The girls claimed that the witches were tormenting them with spectral visions and attacking them physically. The accusations quickly spread to other members of the community, and soon dozens of people were arrested and charged with witchcraft. The trials were conducted by local magistrates and were based on spectral evidence, which was testimony about visions or dreams of the accused that were believed to be caused by witches. The accused had no legal representation, and many were found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging, despite a lack of concrete evidence against them. The trials continued for several months, with more and more people being accused and convicted. Many of those accused were prominent members of the community, including Rebecca Nurse, a 71-year-old grandmother who was considered to be an upstanding member of the community. In May 1693, the governor of Massachusetts declared a halt to the trials and pardoned those who had been convicted but not yet executed. However, the damage had already been done, and the lives of many innocent people had been destroyed. In the aftermath of the trials, the citizens of Salem tried to forget about the event, and it wasn't until the 18th and 19th centuries that the event began to be studied and remembered as a dark moment in American history. It's important to note that the people accused and hanged were not witches, but victims of a society that was gripped by fear and superstition. The tragic events of Salem serve as a reminder of the importance of protecting the rights and freedoms of all individuals and the need to guard against the abuse of power. One of the most well-known of the accused was a woman named Rebecca Nurse, who was an upstanding member of the community with no prior accusations of witchcraft. Despite her good reputation and the lack of evidence against her, she was found guilty and hanged. The trials came to an end in 1693 when the governor of Massachusetts declared a halt to the proceedings and pardoned those who had been convicted but not yet executed. However, the damage had been done, and the lives of many innocent people had been destroyed. The Salem witch trials have become a symbol of the dangers of mass hysteria and the dangers of religious extremism. It serves as a reminder of the importance of reason and evidence in the legal system and the need to guard against the abuse of power. It's important to remember that the people accused and hanged were not witches, but victims of a society that was gripped by fear and superstition. The tragic events of Salem should never be forgotten and serve as a reminder of the importance of protecting the rights and freedoms of all individuals. The belief in witchcraft and the accusation of witchcraft in Salem, Massachusetts in the late 17th century can be attributed to some factors. One major factor was the religious and cultural beliefs of the Puritan community in Salem. The Puritans were a deeply religious group who believed in the devil and the presence of evil in the world. They also believed in the concept of predestination, which held that certain individuals were predestined for salvation or damnation. This belief may have led some members of the community to see evidence of devilish influence in unexpected or unusual behavior. Another factor was the social and political climate of the time. Salem was a small, tight-knit community with a history of conflict and rivalries. The witch trials provided an opportunity for some individuals to settle scores and gain power and status within the community. Additionally, the trials occurred during a time of great economic and political uncertainty in the colonies, with conflicts with Native Americans and tensions with the British government. This led to increased fear and anxiety among the population, which may have contributed to the accusatory atmosphere. Lastly, the accusers, mostly young girls, were going through a period of emotional and psychological turmoil. They may have been genuinely experiencing symptoms of psychological distress, and the accusations of witchcraft may have been a manifestation of their emotional turmoil. In summary, the belief in witchcraft and the accusation of witchcraft in Salem can be attributed to a combination of religious and cultural beliefs, social and political climate, and the emotional turmoil of the accusers. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you liked the video. Your support